Who is changing you? The Spirit of the Lord. What am I doing? I'm looking into a mirror. What is that mirror? It's the Word of God. It's the New Testament. James says this. It says that when we are a hearer only and not a doer of the Word, it's like a man looking into a mirror, observing his natural face and forgetting who he is. But he says, but blessed is those who look into the perfect law of liberty. Yes. Say liberty. liberty. First Corinthians 13 says that now we know in part and we prophesy in part and all this. It says, but that which is perfect has come. Say Jesus. Amen. When Jesus returns, it says when he comes, when he returns and when we see him in eternity, it says, and we see him face to face. It says right now we know in part as a mirror dimly. But when we see him face in face, we shall know as we are also known. What does that mean? When you look at Jesus, you're going to go, that's how God has always known me. Amen. You're just as righteous as Jesus. Amen. It says that we're changed from glory to glory. Say glory. glory. Glory under the new covenant says that God is approved of you. You are righteous. Romans chapter 1, verse 16 says, we're sa uh, Romans 1, 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Verse 17, for in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, or how to have right standing with God. As it is written, the just are those who have been justified are so through faith. Is that what it says? And that we what? We go from faith to faith in this. I find it interesting. I have faith to faith in his glory to glory. What does that mean? It means that as I continue to look into him and see his view and opinion of me, that I am right and just like Jesus in his sight, my faith is ever increasing to believe in how right I really am. Amen. Are you following me? The two connection. I, true maturity in Christ is not becoming aware of your faults. It's becoming aware of your righteousness. True maturity of Christ is not someone who's repenting for everything you do wrong every day, but is praising and thanking God for how right He has made you once and for all. True maturity of Christ, true mature Christianity is not talking about what you've done for God to bless you or God to use you, but becoming a place of humility and saying, if it wasn't but for Jesus, nothing else. That is true maturity, mature Christianity. It, John said, I must decrease, so he increases. That doesn't mean you work harder. That means you realize how much he worked. Are you with me this morning? My heart refuses to ever go back to that old system. Praise God, I've been delivered, and I'm looking into the perfect law of liberty that says I am justified, that I've been made perfect, that I've been made complete, that I am righteous, that I am holy. That's right, I am holy. Holiness is not a performance to produce. It is a fruit of who you are. Are you with me? I am everything that Jesus is. I can go to Galatians chapter 5, and I can read all the fruits of the Spirit, and I go, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Because in the spirit, I am alive to Christ. And how do I walk in it? I set my mind on the things of the spirit of who I am. And I take my mind off of who I do not believe I am yet in the flesh. Listen, I am not a monkey going to pick things off of me every day going, I'm not good enough. I'm not good. Okay. I'm all, you know what? I think I got enough of it now. I think I'm pretty righteous. Okay. Let me go pick on my wife. I know she's got some stuff too. Just like a monkey. Does no, forget that nonsense, man. I'm going to look into the Bible that says I'm just like Jesus. You're so wall to wall. You guys are all possessed by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Stand to your feet. I try to teach. It doesn't work for me. Unless it's at Miracle Lifestyle University. I'm good at teaching that. Come tonight. Praise the Lord. Say this with me. My heart, My heart is established, is established in, grace. in grace. Jesus, Jesus was, enough. was enough. He said, he said it, is finished. it is finished. Therefore, Therefore I, will I will stay at a place, at a place of, rest of rest in His grace. In his grace.
Does this help anyone this morning? I know I'm preaching to the choir in this church. I don't think anyone's going to corner me and get mad at me here. Praise the Lord. Father, we just thank you for your goodness. Well, I tell you, it's a lot easier to believe for healing when you know God's for you, isn't it? God's not uh, punishing you. I remember years ago, I was preaching in Mankato, Minnesota in January, which was the dumbest decision of my life. <laughs> and I made some really dumb decisions. That ranks up there's one of the high ones. And uh, I just said this statement out loud preaching. Sometimes you're being led by the Spirit and you don't even know it. Some along the lines, I said, um, I said, uh, uh, you believe, I said some along the lines of, uh, you know, do you believe that if you're smoking and you've got lung cancer that God can heal you? And the pastor's mother, of all people, yells out, no! No, no. This didn't go well. It's the pastor's mom. <laughs> but I, in my very diplomatic way, as you can see, I'm very diplomatic up here. <laughs> Pointed to scripture that you could. And the crazy thing is there was somebody in that service who had lung cancer and felt like they deserved it because they've been smoking for years. That person got healed. Damn. When your heart is established... In grace, you're in a place where you can believe God. Amen. Yeah. Believe in his goodness. Amen. I, 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 I'm not going to lay hands on people today because we're going to save that for this week with everything we're doing. Other than I am going to minister to one person. But if you're sick in your body, and I know this wasn't necessarily a, a miracle healing meeting, but listen, this will set your faith on fire, in my opinion. Just lay your hands on your body right now if you're suffering anywhere. I'll pray for you all of us. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you for your goodness, Lord. And Father, we thank you right now by your spirit that you're moving to touch and to heal people, to deliver people. And Father, we thank you that every man of sickness and disease must bow at bow the name of Jesus. We speak to it now. We speak to eyes and ears to be healed and autoimmune diseases to be whole. We speak to arthritis and diabetes and a heart disease to be whole in Jesus' name, and kidneys to work, and livers to be whole, psoriasis to go in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you right now that tumors and cancers are dying in the name of Jesus right now. Father, we thank you right now that growths are leaving, Father. Father, we thank you that hearts that feel hurt and wounded and grief-stricken, Father, are being mended and whole and healed in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for creating miracles right now in the name of Jesus to take place. And Father, we thank you in Jesus' name right now that your Son, Father, is being glorified in what you're doing. Lord, we thank you right now for wholeness just to sweep over this place in Jesus' name. Son, you can come on up here. Come on up here. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jennifer, come up here. And I just want you to stand right here. Father, in the name of Jesus, so put your hands on her back for me. Where's it at? You know? Left, right. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we curse this condition and we command wholeness in Jesus' name right now. In Jesus' name, we command every radical cell in the name of Jesus to die right now at its root. And we speak the life of God through her body in Jesus' name. The Spirit of God quickening, bringing healing, and driving out all sickness and disease in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you right now for a good report. A good report in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, if you were suffering with something, just test yourself out right now. I'm not going to take testimonies this morning, but just begin to test yourself out and see what you couldn't do, if you can do it. If you feel, feel God moving in your body right now, just wave your hand at me and wave it at me if you could. Amen. Anybody up back there? Praise the Lord. God's moving. You're feeling God's touching you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we just thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is this your youth group here? Huh? All right. Young adults? I can't tell anymore as I get older. <laughs> I don't know. 
I, I told my wife and I were talking to a young man yesterday, and, and I said, man, these Lincolns look so nice. <laughs> and I thought, are we just getting old and Lincolns are cool now, or are they change how they look? Because <laughs> back when I was a kid, Lincolns were for all the old people. Now I like the Lincolns. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? Not you guys, but some of you. You'd be driving the Cadillac. Yeah. The, the guy, the sales guy, because we look, he goes, no, no, they rebrand him. Like, oh, good, I'm not old then. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You're just as old as you as you believe is the way I look at it. I plan on living to be 120. And I plan on, I plan on, my, I already got my, I got my death planned out. Well, my wife says I gotta live to be 119 because technically she's a year older than me. I know she looks younger. I don't want to hear. It. But anyways, I got it all planned out. I'm gonna preach a crusade. I'm gonna see a hundred thousand Muslims get born again. Go back to my little village hotel wherever I'm at, and I'm gonna fall asleep and not wake up. Amen. That's what I'm believing God for. I'm gonna end on that note. But let me tell you right now, if you've got a bad report, let me just say this real quick. When you begin to understand grace and who you are in Christ, you even got authority over your life. Paul in Philippians, writing from prison, he said this, to live is Christ, to die is gain. Which one I will choose, I do not know. But since I know, I have more fruit of my labor to be with you. I'm kind of paraphrasing. He says, I'll choose to stay. When you have a sense of understanding who you are and you've got a purpose, choose to stay. That was for a few people in here. Amen. Amen. Every head bowed, every eye closed, no one looking around. I'm going to make this real simple. If you're here today and you don't know Jesus... What I mean by that is you've not received him as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says in Romans 10, you must confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart the gospel, what he did for you. That 2,000 years ago, he was born of a virgin without a sin nature. That was God's plan. He needed, a, he needed a perfect man without sin who then could go to the cross and die an innocent man, shed his innocent blood, so that those that have a sin nature, all of us that are not perfect, born in sin, could not just have our sins forgiven, but we could be born again and have a new nature that's just as righteous as Jesus. And three days later that he raised from the dead, the Bible says he died for the forgiveness of your sins, Romans chapter 4, verse 25, but he was raised for your justification. Just as if you never sinned. The Bible says that when we believe that with our heart and confess Jesus with our mouth, that the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead comes into our internal spirit, the real you, the one that lives forever. And it's born again, it's regenerated, it comes alive to God, that you become a child of the living God. John 1, 12 says that those who believe in him, believe in him he gave them the right to be born of God, not the will of man, the will of flesh, but born of God, his very child, part of his family. When that person dies, or when Jesus returns, their eternal spirit, which is now righteous and made perfect, and just like Jesus, goes to be in heaven with God for all of eternity. If you've never made this decision to believe in the gospel I just shared with you, and to make Jesus Lord and save your life, to allow him to save you, make you his very own child, on the count of three, I want you to raise your hand. No one looking around. One, two, three. Raise it now and wave it at me. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wave it at me real big? This is the best decision you're ever going to make. There's a lot of decisions we make in life. This is the only one that would affect your eternity. I'm just going to give you a few more minutes. I'm not here to beat you up. God loves you. I'm not here to manipulate you. The goodness of God is drawing you. There might be some of you right now saying, man, I know I need to do this. I've never done this. I've never made this decision. You're feeling maybe a little anxious or nervous. Don't no. God's working on your heart. If there's anyone else here, this is all there is. There is no catch to this. Nobody's going to hand you anything and give you something you got to do. You don't have to have to shave your head and come to church like me. <laughs> Nothing. It's just simply relying the good, just simply receiving on the goodness, the goodness of God towards you.
that Jesus already did it all. He did the hard part. All you got to do is believe and, and trust in him. One more time. If you didn't raise your hand the first time, I want you to raise your hand. One, two, three. Raise it now and wave it at me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want you to take a really bold step. No one, everyone make bold step and, and listen, this is this isn't. I just wanted you to take a bold step and do something. I want you to meet me up front so I can personally pray with you. If you raise your hand this morning and you need somebody to come up with you, that's fine. Grab them by the hand and say, hey, we go up with me. But if you raise your hand this morning, would you just come up here front so that I can personally pray with you? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good.